you can, if you use Google Assistant, you can learn English with Google. You can, and I do this, you can ask word definitions. You can, um, you can ask for examples of words. I'm planning to do a video about how to do this, but you can do this. It's really cool. And you're practicing your speaking and you're listening. You're doing it by ba back and forth. You can ask interesting questions and get answers. Uh, it's really cool. So let's see if we can get an answer to this question. How many words does the average English speaker know? 20,000 words. There you go. To Bell English. Studies have shown that the average English native speaker knows about 20,000 words with university educated people knowing around 40,000 words when actually speaking and with everyday writing. So there you go. 20,000 20, words for the average someone who's completed university, maybe 40,000. Hey, Google, what does Dharma mean? According to study.com, Dharma is a word without direct translation, but implies religion, duty, and righteousness. It derives from a Sanskrit root word meaning to uphold or sustain. How many calories will I burn if I walk for one hour? According to livestrong.com, Depending on your weight, the route you take in your walking speed, you can expect to burn between 148 and 558 calories walking for an hour. A 130-pound person walking on a flat surface at a speed of 3.5 miles per hour burns 224 calories while they burn 354 calories if walking uphill. Interesting. Hey Google, can you please define the word coronation? Here's a summary from vocabulary.com. A coronation is the ceremony when a new king is officially installed. A coronation is usually quite glitzy and full of pomp. Coronation is derived from the Latin word corona, meaning crown. Can you please give me some examples of the word embellish in a sentence? According to sentence examples, your dictionary. Embellish sentence examples. Urban did much to embellish the city. Statues of Luther, Melanchthon, and Bugenhagen embellish the town. Isn't that awesome? So you can obviously get information and do it in a conversational way rather than searching, but you're forcing yourself to kind of have a conversation and express yourself clearly so that Google, which is not that smart, can understand you. But notice that I'm getting word definitions explained to me rather than looking them up, for example, in my original language. I'm getting the words explained to me. Someone is telling me what they mean. And then if I don't understand, I can say, can you please give me some example sentences of the word convenience or whatever word you want to understand better? Then Google can tell you those words in context from a source on the internet that has examples of words. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. So I think if you are learning words, one thing that you can do in addition to looking them up in the dictionary, the free dictionary is a great resource for looking up words with examples and finding related words. In addition to that, in addition to writing down your own examples, practicing making sentences with the words that you're learning in perhaps different forms, convenience, convenient, like that. In addition to that, try doing it in this conversational format. I believe every phone can download this app, Google Assistant, I think. And so use it to try to create a sort of conversational setting for yourself. If you're wondering something, ask the question verbally and listen to the answer. Force yourself to understand the answer. It is also written down there too. It pops up on your phone, the written answer. But if you learn it in a back and forth spoken verbal way, conversationally, that is really how you get information from another human being. I know it's not perfect. I know it's not a real person, but it kind of feels like it because you have to be articulate. You have to say exactly what you mean, right? If you don't say it correctly, she will say, I'm sorry, I don't understand. So if you hear the example, you hear the definition, 
and you ask back and forth, you're developing your ear and you're developing a part of your brain that is turned on when you're in a conversation. It's interesting. It's a cool way to practice. It's a new thing. And uh, all you have to do is download Google Assistant. Try it out. Let me know how it goes. I would be very curious to see your results. Very curious. I use it. I really do. I really do. I think it's awesome.